Happy hump day, everybody. Welcome to another Workshop Wednesday. Quick, easy one today, but I've been seeing quite a few questions about my rear view camera, and it's a pretty critical component to my operation, so let's cover it. This is just your basic backup camera that you can get on Amazon. This one's made by a company called Amtifo, and this is actually the exact camera that Grandpa and I installed on the motorhome. And the motorhome being 36 feet long, we decided to go with a wireless system. At this price point and the performance I've seen with it so far, if I ever have to replace my system, I'll go with the exact same thing. Installation is very easy. You just need 12 volts to your monitor, 12 volts to the camera, but they have to be through a toggle or through the ignition, otherwise it will drain your battery. So my monitor, I wired into a keyed source from the fuse box and the camera is wired directly into the tail lights. So when I turn on my running lights or headlights, then the camera is activated. This I don't use for reverse necessarily. This is so I can see what's happening behind me. My trailer is so narrow, I have no visibility in my mirrors. I did put extenders off the trailer so I can put my lights far enough out to see in the mirrors, but I'm sure you guys have noticed with the new rig and the places we're going, my lights only last about three weeks on the trailer. So having the camera is kind of a necessity. As for mounting it in the truck, I really wasn't sure where I was gonna put this thing because space is so limited in here. So I actually ended up taking out the cup holders. It's a good solid mounting bracket back there. So I built an aluminum plate and then just screwed this basically right onto the plate. If I ever did want to be driving without the screen on, you can turn it off. But in my case, it's on all the time. It is a great asset to have when I'm reversing, but it's just kind of a necessity if you're gonna be traveling with a trailer you can't see in the mirrors. I don't back this trailer into the water when I'm launching the boat just to try and keep water out of the bearings but you never know when a failure is gonna happen when you're traveling full time. So if you're building the rig, think about a camera. Don't even have to go with an expensive one. I think this was a couple hundred bucks. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody.